<sighs> so, hello everybody! <sighs> what is going on dudes? It is Gabe Shimaga here and welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Last time, we made way a bit more into Rolling Ridge Mountain or Rolling Ridge Pass and managed to begin our trek into the Crown Dungeon. Not to be confused with uh, Sword and Shield DLC's Crown Tundra, but pretty close to Gar, in all honesty. Um, yeah, we just have a lot of progress to make now from this point onward, and we kind of have to just move as quick as we can. So let's move, let's move, avoid getting hit by that damn, by any of these enemies if we can. Yeah. And now we just have to utilize our weapons. Oh, poor Moblin. Got a set of blades for no reason. Yes, yes, yes. Urgh. You know what? That's what you get. <laughs> Be lit ablaze, good sir. I believe where we have to go is... Do we have to ride along this way? We have to go along a way in particular. Um... Yeah. Okay, we have this route. This little side area. With a bunch of... Zoles that we can deal with really easily. We're moving to the right. More jumping areas. Go, give me all the rupees. Hearts too, I'll take it. Okay, I'm definitely not in the area I'm supposed to be at yet. I know that for sure. I'm supposed to get somewhere different. So we got a bit of backtracking to do, but that's fine. There was a, like I said, there was a certain area we were supposed to go, but I just didn't go that way. <sighs> so I was trying to get to the map, but the map will take a bit longer, I guess. Go around. Right here, uh, I think it's in this area. Ah. Go. Go, it's another one down. Take care of all that. Line it up. Good. Yeah, I think it's just right over here. Yeah. Ignoring you, get ourselves the dungeon map. Just like I had said before, the map really does match that of a crown with a head at the bottom. Interesting, really, yeah, no, interesting in all honesty, there's no real other way to put it. It's predicted in a way. We see, oh, okay, this is where the boss is. Okay, wait, that's fast. What? Okay. Not gonna question it. There's no reason to. Alright, whatever. Um, I guess, yeah, where we have to go is just take this little side path, and we see we have these three skulls, and only one, uh, door to be the right one. Click on each of them. We see. They're all pressured. So, let's do just that and apply pressure to each. Ah. But we see, we still can't do it. The pressure requires to be consistent, so we're gonna be here for a while. Last one. There we go. Hear that buzz off. We head back up and nothing. An hour's worth of check. Head over. Nope, we cannot continue unless we light everything ablaze. There we go. Try it again. Not much we can do. So we see a set pattern. Yellow, yellow, blue. Okay. Let me try to remember this, because if my memory is not the best, we can try. Yellow... Yeah. Yellow, yellow, blue, red, red, blue. Alright, I think I have an idea. Yellow, yellow, blue, red, red, blue. Jump across, and we see we have the puzzle to deal with right away. 
I already messed up. <laughs> I already messed up. Because I pushed that against the wall and I can't move it when it's against the wall. So... That works. I can go yellow, yellow. And I think it was blue, red on this side right there. Okay, now I just have to push you up both. One. But I can't push you both up, which sucks. I can only do one at a time. Blue. Red. Then it was... Don't push you that way, that would be a terrible idea. I can push you to the side. Push you up. Push you down to, I think. And then I have to push you down one or two. Yeah! Cool. Makes like an S. In doing that, we get the cane of Samaria. Because it's create blocks. Haha! -ha! So, a really old, old weapon that we haven't seen in quite some time. Does just that. Creates blocks for us to use and navigate and do whatever we need to with it. Which is really great. I was expecting to get that in a more difficult manner, but oh well, whatever. If you just want to kind of give it to us via a puzzle, I'll take it. I thought I had the cane for some reason. <laughs> Boom. Then it's just pushing everything else into place. Go. It's one. It's two. And that's number three. Doing so. Get ourselves another wonderful, wonderful small key. Which we can now backtrack and do more with. Let's go. Go. Let's get our feather. And yeah, nothing else down here for now. So all we can do is jump, jump. Ugh. Take care of that one. Go between levels. Go. How are you firing at me when you can't even see me? Whatever. Down here. So you have a bunch of keys in the way. Give me that though, we'll take that. Let's use our cane. Let's use it as a scaling platform. Oof. Oh, it's a terrible placement, but it's fine. We can push it aside, thankfully. Ooh, and just before that guy got us. Swing. You too? You want some? Use our seed shooter. Go. Fire. So to continue. See, we have two things here. I'm guessing we set them both on either side. There's no real, there's no real clear indication of what to do, but kind of have to figure it out. Try to move one. We see it moves both. So you can kind of guess what we have to do. You can only move one at a time. Go. Place you there instead. So I can move you down. Didn't have me to do that. Push you down one. Then I push. No. Push you. Not me to do it like that. I'm going to do this. Boom. Then I push you. Then I push you up one. And then I push you to the right one. There we go. Gosh, that. Ugh. Took longer than it should have. Another small key. Oh. Uh, not much we can really do or use that for, I guess. It's really just leaving us to backtrack at this point. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this really doesn't lead much or go anywhere. We're kind of forced to just go. Let's move. Let's get seed shooter. Move. Okay. 
go. Just ignore all of our problems. You know, that's what we do. That's how we do it as Link. We ignore all of our issues. Oh no. Did I mess up? I think I might have messed up because I left this up. Yep. <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, backtracking. As if this wasn't a thing already enough. I messed up. Wrong thing. I need this. Move. Let's get this ready. Damn you. Whatever, let's go. Give me my... Not that, but close enough. There you go. I knew I was like, did I forget something? I did indeed. It's fine though. I made it work regardless. Let's move, let's move. And there doesn't seem to be much else left to do here in the dungeon, thankfully. We already have the main item. All that's left now is just to get to the mini boss, the halfway boss, and the uh, main boss, which shouldn't take us too much longer from here, in all honesty. We're back. We gotta head back to the main hub room. And all of you. We wanna get to that portion. I guess the center portion of the map, it would be. Very, take that. It's so crazy, we have the Master Sword already and just a lot of health, which is really good. Take care of all of you. Boom. Oh, hearts galore. As if I needed any more. Go. Now we are in here. With you. Go, just keep on swinging from a distance because we can do that now. With the damn leg legs, which you can just kill in one hit. God, this feels so nice. The power. The power! Feels great. And now we have parkour. Parkour! 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 Cool. It worked. And, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Light you on fire! Light you on fire! Okay. We clearly have to do something. We clearly have to travel somehow in this. I don't know how. And really the only way I see fitting is with our new item. It'll tell us how far we can go without falling. Cane of Samaria. It's a very slow turn, but we can still do it regardless. It goes right here. Okay. To the left. Damn it, I was holding too hard. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I think one more was fine. Yeah. And then it was just one. Boom. 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 Ooh, that was way too close. Can't go further that way. Nope, oh, too far. You know what? I'm a madman, I'm just gonna jump it. <laughs> well, that's what I get for trying to jump it. Three. And I forgot from there. Oh, I should be dead. I really should be dead. Okay. I know, so I have to keep going forward. Oh my god, it's gonna be a long, winded path. Cool. Okay. Can I just go straight from here? Please? Thank you. Oh, that first monkey. Uh, we have four of them. Why do we need so many? I don't know. Get me back out. Thank you. We'll take it. 
get back to the other side, we'll get to safety. I'll take that. Ugh. Okay. Back to parkouring. Parkour! Ooh, parkour! Parkour! Cool. Gotta be like, uh, Mike from The Office. You gotta shout parkour as you do parkour, or else it's not gonna work. Ugh. Excuse me. Thank you, thank you. Um, I don't think we need it. any color in particular. Oh no, we kind of do need a red. Am I kidding? Yeah. Like here though. Let's get our Pegasus seeds because we need to move fast over the gaps. Boom, boom, and the way is open. And now it's boss time or mini boss time. And look. And what it is, or who it is, it's our good buddy Smasher. We haven't seen this guy for a couple games. Well, last we saw him was in Link's Awakening DX, so... Definitely not too much to miss out on. He acts the same way as you would bet before, you just really need your... Um... Power bracelet, and you just have to avoid him. And hit him yourself. No! He makes it disappear though after a while, or more so just disappears after a while. I kind of just have to aim and hit him. Wait for it to spawn. Get close and throw it again. Is that counted? I don't know if it counted or not. No! Very iffy with hitboxes. Stop! Measure. Accept your fate. Panic, yes, please. Come on. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I've already taken so much damage in this. Why? Why is my aim so bad? How? Smasher, why are you so good at this? You shouldn't be. Come on. Thank you! I already took more damage though right there, so I really shouldn't have. Come on. I'm like trying to line up the shot with him so I can hit him easier. Oh my god. How? I don't get it. I'm like doing it right, but at the same time I'm not? Question mark? There we go. Jeez. Yeah, Smasher is a pain. He's a headache. He's a handful. Oh my god. If you don't get your shots, it's so annoying to deal with him. Okay, I hit this. It'll just disappear, won't it? Yeah. And it appears from both sides, so... It, it, I don't think it matters if I can outspeed it, but I can try. Except we don't need to do that, because I remember I have the cane. Duh. I keep forgetting I have this item now. Move. Let's use our switch hook. And boom. Compass. Was that actually the boss's room? Wow, it actually is the boss's room. Alright, cool. <laughs> okay, that's completely unexpected. Honestly, I was expecting it to be further back or further in, but I guess not. Cool. Mini boss cleared. What you want, what you want, what you want. Who's next? You, you're next, got it. Boom. Bong. Uh. Parkour. Parkour. Don't you dare. Oh, I played that hella risky. I played that hella risky as well. I don't know why I'm doing these things, but oh well. Mainly because I want an adventure. Go. And last one before I think we're gonna call this here. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost done, I think. We only have like what? One, two, three. Oh god, about like. What is that? Five, six, eight. No, about ten more rooms to explore, and then we're out of here. So, the dungeon might take a little longer than we thought, but that's fine. 
That'll be it for now, though. Hope you all did enjoy. Hope you all continue to enjoy, of course. And I'll be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>